<laughs> Hello to all the head that sees in the land. I'm here with my moiselle Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. And my best friend Ariana. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. The thing with Amanda is when you lighten the hair, it goes through this orange, red type of stage into the gold, yellow before it goes to blonde. Our goal really is to get her to a nine, even an eight. If she could get to an eight, I'll be happy. This looks like it's a level four, five-ish. I'm gonna say a four that has been faded into a five. My fear is that she is gonna stay looking orange. So you can see here her natural level is about, oh, that looks like a four down here. And then her natural looks like it's a five. So she's a five and down here's a four. So we're gonna have to lift through some color, but I'm gonna find a way to balance it out because today we're gonna talk about midnight. So let's go ahead and have a seat, Amanda. Hey. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna wrap her up in the body condom. Okay, so the goal for today is the midnight collection. So we are gonna utilize midnight blue, one, three, and the midnight violet, and maybe a touch of midnight fantasy five. But I want to lift the hair up a little bit so we can add dimension to it so it can look very beautiful. So some of the blues and violets can come through. So let's open up here and take a look at her hair very, very close. If you look very, very close here, you can see her natural hair color about four to five inches out right through here, which is level five. But look at this middle band right in through here. This middle band is the darkest. It almost looks like a three into a four. You can see where her natural looks more like a five, and then you see this three, and then you see the four down the ends. So this middle band is what I'm afraid of. It looks like a shadow root has been put in. Let's just hope that it's gonna come out when we highlight her hair. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna use our Magnum 8, which is our powder lightener that lifts up to eight levels. If you have not tried Magnum 8, you're missing out. You need to try it. Everyone loves it. It spreads so well. So with Magnum 8, I love mixing one to two ratio. I'm just gonna do 50 grams because girlfriend has a lot of hair. All right, and we are gonna use 30 volume. Always make sure to use the Dedicate developer. I'm very anal when it comes to measuring because I feel like when you don't measure, you don't get consistency. And a lot of times, as humans, what we do is we like to blame the product. No, sometimes we gotta blame ourselves. We gotta hold ourselves accountable these days. Just do it right, follow the directions, and you won't have to hold yourself accountable because you know you follow the directions and doing things the right way like they're supposed to be, okay? All right, so get the whisk and we're gonna whip her on up. So the consistency is beautiful. It does have that subtle lavender tone to it and it just spreads so well. And we are gonna sprinkle in Gai Tang collagen powder. And what this will do is it protects your hair during the lifting process. When you're lifting the hair, it's when the hair gets compromised, right? So you can use a quarter scoop. We're gonna sprinkle this in. Okay, this is a new Gai Tang more to me color board, color canvas system. So we are gonna adjust this and go ahead Head and sit on back, darling. And just like so, we can adjust to your client's height. So we're gonna bring this right on, and look how close it gets to the hair. So you get to turn the board left, or turn the board right to adjust to the hair. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the nape area first. All right, so let's go ahead and section the top out of the way. So we're gonna take a horse shoe section. Okay, so I'm gonna section the parietal area out the way as well, because we don't need to work on them yet. Those are gonna be her money pieces that we are gonna target later near the end. I'm just gonna dissect straight down to the nape, and we are gonna target the nape area because we're creating under lights, right? These under lights ensure that she has a nice face frame. So we're gonna go ahead and clip that up out the way like that. And this is the area we're gonna target. And if I stretch this out, you can see all the banding light, dark, light. So now we're gonna lift the hair up and take notice how all the short hair comes out. So you do not wanna highlight the short hair bits because you don't want short hair to stand out. And the cool thing also about this board is you get to lock the wheels underneath and keep it stationary if you need to. So this is all of the long hairs you're gonna be highlighting. And then take the short hair right underneath that, move it out the way, tuck it under the board just like so. Grab your foil like so and paint Magnum Lightener on the hair, just like so. Look at the consistency of the product. It just penetrates and spreads so well. And I use an extra long foil here. These foils are really, really long. And what I love about having the color canvas system board here is that I'm able to apply the product with pressure and take the pressure off of my back. It also takes the weight off of your client. I noticed at the end of foiling, my clients are like, 
tilted back. No one wants to have their neck no. in pain. So saves you, the client. Saves you or your you. client. You're yeah. right, Ariana. So I'll put the link below. You could get the Color Canvas system on the website, colorcanvassystems.com. Actually, what's really important, I find, is to really spread the hair out to make sure you penetrate both sides. And then we're gonna do an overlay. So lay the fold right over. Another thing I want to add is the board is really cool for when you want to do this. Let's just say I just need to paint on the foil first with the lightener. So that way the foil has lightener and product on it. So when you place it down, you're ready have the product and the hair sitting right on top of it. So I'm just gonna comb it lightly so it spreads the hair out, so it lays flat. And start from the mids, work your way up, just like so. And I do about probably four to five panels here on the left side of her nape, and then the same thing on the right side of her nape. So one of the questions I get asked the most, <laughs> Ariana, it's like, how do you use the foil board on the top of the head around the face? What do you say about that, Ariana? Well, I, we talked about this before. You know, you have a fork, you have a spoon, you have a knife, and you don't go and eat soup with a fork. So we have the board to make our life easier down here, but when we get to the top and to the front, you can use another tool, and usually you don't need to, but most of the weight of the hair is back here. You're not necessarily gonna need the board for up around the face and up at the top because life isn't as hard up there when- No, <laughs> life is not as hard up there. <laughs> hair around the face doesn't have the weight and it's easy to foil around the face. So back yeah. here, you have all this bulk of hair. So this is what the colored canvas board is for, is to take that pressure and weight off of you back here because this is the hard part. This is the part where like, oh my God, it's taking forever. And I think for me as a hairstylist, I don't know about you, Ariana, but sometimes I get bored of doing what I'm good at. When you're doing the same thing over and over for the last 17, 18, 20 years, you know you're good at it, but then now what? How do you evolve? How do you change? When every time we come up with new tools, people are always skeptic. They either go, I've seen that before. That ain't nothing new. I've seen it back in my day. So that's really important to sometimes is to adjust with the times because a lot of times our clients are coming in and they're asking for something new. And if we don't have what's new, sometimes we could lose our client and our client will go somewhere else. It's hard to like learn new things and play with new toys, but I definitely encourage you to do it because you have to evolve. Not only as a stylist, should you evolve, but we should evolve as human beings, you know? Because if we don't evolve, you know, sometimes we could get bored of ourselves and you're searching for new meaning in life. And sometimes a new meaning is about evolving and searching for what you like. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and that's all the force we need underneath and we'll be back. So I already finished all of her nape area. As you can see, I'm reaching the occipital going up to the apex top of her head. I'm skipping one inch slices, doing thin panels across the way. I finished this side, I'm gonna move this board out. And the cool thing is because there's a wheel on the color canvas board, I could just go like this and voila. So on this side, when she tilts her head down, you can see this is where her part is. I don't want to go with the foils all the way up to a part. I want it to veil over the highlights that she has in the foils. You can see as I lift up that section, there's about an inch of hair in between. And then under here, this is where her nape is, and there is four back-to-back -back foils. So under here is that under light piece. Then an inch, we're gonna repeat this again so you can see. And then a slice of foil that's back home, then an inch of hair, then it just repeats. So there's only four foils on this side. And of course, we left this veil right at the top, voila and we repeat the same thing on this side. This is really important. You wanna keep this piece veiling through the back because you don't wanna see any highlights popping through where her cowlick swirl area is. You're gonna take a thin slice. You can see how her hair is really thick up here and it gets finer as it goes down. That's very, very normal. And by highlighting her ends, they actually create expansion and make the hair seem and appear a lot more bigger, which is a good thing. So take a thin slice right up here at the top. We are gonna back comb right underneath here. And that back comb is gonna push those short hair back, hold it down the panel, remember not to rope the hair. And I'm gonna move this hair out of the way so that way you can focus on the hair up here. Tuck the foil end right underneath. And I always have to do like a little comb through just so the hair lays flat. And then we're gonna position the board up. Paint Magnum 8 right 
onto that hair. And again, if you need to, sometimes I like to drag it up just a little bit higher, pull. See, I hold the foil up here and then paint that down because sometimes I just want to go up and create more of a jagged line. Pack that product on and then overlay the foil. And now I'm going to head up around her face and we're going to do the money piece. Now as I head along the front of her face frame, you don't need the board in front because this is so easy. So I'm going to introduce you the long board. So I create this with Alicia Fox from Color Canada System. This is a smaller one. This is the medium length one. She has long hair, so most likely I'm going to have to use the extra long one. And what I love about the board is that when you get to the corner here, you see that it's tapered off on the edge. So that way you could get close to her scalpage area and you have a rubber corner edge here. So you could lay it on your chest or stomach or wherever you decide to put it that's comfortable for your arms. And you have a flat surface to paint on. Let's take a look at her hairline here. Okay, we're gonna give her a big money piece here. You know, we're all about the money piece, but what's really important about the money piece is you gotta get the face frame in. Otherwise, if you only do this piece, then it looks stringy in the bottom and there's no connection here. So you need to bring the parietal area in so it all connects so it looks bulkier and thicker. So with that being said, I'm gonna move this up out of the way. So what I like to do is fold the foil over the back of the board right here. So the flap will be fold out because you're gonna paint on this side. So this is the Guy Tang My Thick Body Spray. This is our texture spray because Amanda has very slippery hair. So we want to put a little texture and grip to her hair. So we're gonna spray this on her hair right before doing the back comb around her face. Shake, miss. Just like so. Okay, so over direct towards you and then see how I back home that. Take notice because of the my thick body, I could get really, really close to her routage right there. So now I get the board, anchor it in and notice how my finger position is with my thumb index and my three fingers here in the back with the pinky. I hold the board. And what I love is having that flat surface to paint on. You all, Amanda and I have become besties yeah. over here. <laughs> Amanda, tell us about yourself because you were asking me a bunch of things. So I want you to go ahead and just ask away. And So I'm from Chicago and I'm a model and influencer, but um, I was asking Guy and I want to ask him on camera. So you were saying earlier that you used to be, you know, really uncomfortable in YouTube videos, you know, and speaking in public and things, and now you do it all the time. So. Just how did you overcome that and any advice you have for people who might be? For me, it's about having purpose. And because I know for me, representation was so important for not only the gay industry and for me being Asian, because I never seen anyone that looks like me, Amanda, yeah. <laughs> growing up. Yeah. I could, so I was like, you know what? I need to put myself out there. It's important for me to fill that void for myself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to face my fear, do it. and. Mm -hmm. I was scared the whole time because I'm like, they're all gonna look at me and they're gonna judge me and they're all gonna hate me. But then it felt so liberating. And once I did it, I felt free from myself. And it gave me so much purpose. And that's why I said like, you know, if you see something that's missing out there, don't be afraid to be that person to fill that void for yourself. It's not about following a path that's already been paved, but it's about creating your own path. This is something I always talk about. People always think that they wanna follow the yellow brick road to Emerald City. Follow the yellow brick road, get to the Wizard of Oz. And when you get to the Wizard of Oz, you realize he's just a man behind a curtain. He's not who you think he is because everyone like say, oh, you know, get to the wizard. He, he has the answers. He has magic powers. And then it's all like a facade. And so that's why sometimes a lot of us, we chase certain dreams. But those dreams, when we get there, it isn't what it seems because it's all an illusion. So that's why it's really important for us to not chase a dream that's been put out there, but create our own path. And being able to do that, you have to visualize it in your head. If you see it in your head, it exists. Amanda, you said you want to put yourself out there more. What void is it that you want to fill for yourself? I really have always liked people, you know, like talking to people and things like that and giving any knowledge that I have. I, I just genuinely have a passion for connecting with people. Like I'm always so, friendly and outgoing. So just to be able to, you know, create more music videos, or not music videos, YouTube videos. Hey, music videos, yeah, you can, you can, to be like you. you know what, you could do that too. Hey, if you, yeah, if, that's what we're talking about too. Yeah. yeah Cause you never know, but you know what, if, if that's where you who need knows? to go, who knows? Yeah. I like that. You yeah. Know? It's nice to never be able to, you know, put yourself in a box. Mm-hmm. 
And hey, listen, I will provide Amanda's links below if she starts a YouTube channel by the time we release this video. <laughs> yes, you can stalk her if you need to. And her Instagram, yeah, yes. Follow my Instagram. We'll stay yeah. connected. So you can see what I'm doing at the top of her money piece. I'm doing back to back highlights here, full slices. I want these blocks to be big because I want you to be able to see them. And I'm going to do the same thing on both sides and we'll be back. All right, so you can see I finished foiling Amanda's whole entire head. Her face is down here but I want you to see what's going on. So I'm gonna base Amanda's hair with 1MB Midnight Blue and level one is black so we're gonna get a blue black. I choose to use Demi Permanent Color because we're glazing her beautiful brown hair. We are taking it deeper and I love that it's gonna create like this blue black cast to it. There is a 3MB as well which we'll utilize later. Let's take a peek at one of the first foils in the back so you can see how well she has lifted with her unvirgin hair. Whoa, whoa, she lifted a lot higher than anticipated. This is amazing. She lifted to like a level eight. So what I love about Midnight Blue One is take a look at the color in the bowl. Look at the depth of that tone. It's so beautiful. It's gonna add so much shine to her hair and it's gonna cool down her color. Okay, cause we're only depositing over her brown. You will take notice that the blue tone will make her brown look very, very smoky and cancel all the warmth that you see. So I know a lot of folks always want blue black to show up on hair and the reason why it doesn't because hair naturally has orange in it. So after I finish applying her base color here, we're gonna let her process for 25 minutes for the Demi Permanent Color and we'll be back to do a final glaze of the Midnight Blue, Midnight Violet, and a little touch of Midnight Fantasy mixed in. We'll be back. We're back with Amanda. So this is the pre-lightening stage. This is the in-between stage. So think about this paranormal hair activity situation. Some parts of her hair lifted to a level nine. Some parts only lifted to a level eight. This is normal when it comes to paranormal lifting because her hair wasn't all the way virgin. So it's the virgin parts lifted lighter, like right up here where it's grown out. You can see where it lifted lighter and the one MB bled into it, which is fine because I want that to happen because we're going over it with more midnight blue at a level three and midnight violet at a level three and Midnight Fantasy on the end. So it's all gonna work out and play in our favor. So a lot of times, just because things come out paranormal and the canvas is not clean, you want it that way so it works in your favor. So don't ever feel bad if it doesn't lift perfectly even because it's all about the end goal, what you're going for. So I told Amanda our end goal is to get her the Midnight Blue, the Midnight Violet 3, and also the Midnight Fancy. So the Midnight Fancy is mainly to kind of frame around the face and on the ends, only so the color bursts. But we want the tone to primarily be Midnight Violet throughout. So this is the perfect canvas for that. And you can see how it's darker right underneath her neck coming through. And it ombres itself underneath here and just so right through there. She got her money piece here and when she turns, Take a look where her money piece is. So now we're gonna go over it with our Dim Eye series. I wanna show you our beautiful formulation right here in front of us. So you can see right here, we have the Midnight Blue 3, Midnight Violet 3, Midnight Fantasy 5. And it's all about creating a color mouth, right? You don't need to make it all blocked out at all even. You just wanna blur it through because we want all the color to just blend seamlessly. So her shadow retouch will be blue and then violet and then fancy where you have more of that berry tone. So anything that has blue in it will always look darker. So Demi Permanent Color is the key here. With Demi Permanent Color, it's acidic, at least with Guy Tang My Identity. When you're mixing it one to two ratio, it's acidic. Make sure you mix it with six volume, dedicated developers, very important. And we put the collagen powder in here as well. And that's key point here. You wanna make sure you put the collagen powder in because when you're working with pre-lightened hair, you wanna repair it as you color. And for me, it's very important that you'll see that I love applying color over dry hair. Uh, I know a lot of us like to just apply color over damp hair, but think about it. When your hair is dry and you apply color on it, it's absorbing everything. But when you have water in your hair, the water dilutes it. So it's like Kool-Aid, you know, the more water you add in, it's not gonna be as sweet and it's not gonna look as, you know, saturated and taste as saturated. The same thing with your hair. You may think you're getting the color you want at that moment, but it's not not gonna last if you're just applying it over damp hair. I know, I know. We wanna take shortcuts. Life 
it's hard, and everyone wants shortcuts in life, right, Ariana? Yeah. But sometimes the best thing come to those who wait and who are mm -hmm. patient. Amanda, how do you feel about that? I feel like you're giving us gems today. Gems. <laughs> I mean, I mean, who? The thing is, we all want shortcuts, right? Everyone does. They want the elevator. They don't want to climb the stairs. You know. But think about it. If you if you be running stop signs and running red lights, you're gonna be wreck havoc and cause trouble here. You get sometimes you gotta stop and let things happen. You know, let traffic flow through so it's safe. You'll look left and right, know where you're going, don't rush your way through life, don't rush your way through your client's process. The most important thing I always tell my client is, this is gonna take maybe three hours or four. Be patient with me, okay? You, you can't rush things in life. So we're applying the Midnight Blue base right now. And what I like to do is I get the base formula down first before I start doing the color melt. Y'all, <laughs> look at that midnight blue three going down. So notice how it's not just a straight line across. When I place the color in, you're seeing the placement being very erratic. Some pieces are lower, some pieces are higher. So it almost creates a balayage effect. You wanted it to be erratic, not boom, boom, boom. So take a look at the colors in the bowl so far. So look at that midnight violet. Look at the depth of that in the Midnight Fantasy. So keep in mind, I'm not really showing the fantasy by itself. I'm using it almost like a merge. I want the colors to just kind of bleed into each other. So it just all fuse and blend in. So we're gonna go right back here, Ariana. So I'm gonna start at the bottom because I like to work my way up. So at the bottom here, you can see I dragged the Midnight Blue pretty low. So now I'm gonna go in with the Midnight Violet. So notice how I'm leaving out the tips. So the tips is where I'm gonna come in with the fantasy. The Midnight Fantasy is gonna come in right on the tips. And I'm just gonna do this, working my way up. And it's really simple. And keep in mind, because it's dim eye, it doesn't have ammonia. Permanent color has ammonia. So with ammonia, it expands. So you have to use your hands to push the product in. Like keep swiping, push so the product can penetrate and spread. So you just gotta make sure you Go in, swipe, penetrate, just like that. I'm gonna do this all the way up to I meet her money piece, process for 25 minutes, and we will return to show you the results. Are you guys ready for the reveal? Here we go, three, two, one, wee! <laughs> How do you feel, girl? Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm like a mystical goddess. Mysterious mystical goddess. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love that midnight blue from inside. It's you can so see gorgeous. you can see right in there that yes. depth. It has a royal tone to yeah. that blue, yeah. right? It's Amazing. Yeah. Everything is worse. It's like a, a raven, a deep, yeah. sexy raven. <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> it has so much dimension. When you look down, you can see that blue-black from mm -hmm. the midnight blue level one into the three that we ombre in. Mm -hmm. And you can see it face frame that money piece and that midnight violet with the midnight fantasy blurring together. Yes. It just pops and just mm -hmm. creates so much movement. Try the midnight shades. I'm obsessed with it. Ariana's obsessed I'm with it. I'm obsessed with it. You're obsessed with it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, because we're all about TikTok. <laughs> Comment below, tell me what you love about the video, and I'll see you guys soon. And download my album, More to Me, 1981, and Multi Perspect. You can purchase all these colors at Cosmoprof, yeah. Armstrong McCall, and mydannycolor.com. Okay, <laughs> signing off. Bye. Fades to gray Questions turn into answers It's